Hello everyone, this is Adrian D. Holmes. Thank you for checking out this video on my experiences with Hurricane Irma. Who is it? Oh look, it's Irma! Hey girl, oh my goodness me! So although this video title probably sounds deceptively clickbaity, I promise you it isn't clickbait. I actually did stand out in the middle of Hurricane Irma. But there is one caveat. You see, where I live in Brevard County, I'm about two hours east of the city of Tampa, which is where a large part of the intense section of the hurricane passed through. Over here in Brevard County, our wind speeds barely cracked a category one hurricane level, which is about 70 to 80 miles per hour. Whereas over on the west coast, wind speeds topped out at around 130 and 140 miles per hour. So it was relatively safe for me to go outside, whereas if I lived on the west coast, the winds would have been far too strong for me to be out in, and I could have been seriously injured. The story of Irma began about three weeks ago when a tropical depression was detected off the coast of Africa. As that storm intensified, it began moving west toward North America, and was classified as a Cape Verde hurricane, which is a group of hurricanes that form off the coast of Africa in the island chain of Cape Verde and go on to become the strongest, most intense storms to ever form in the Atlantic. By the time Irma smashed into the island nation of Antigua and Barbuda in the Caribbean, she was a category five storm with sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. Now, if you follow me on Periscope, you probably saw me share a couple of broadcasts last week about why I wasn't afraid of the coming storm and what steps my city has taken to prevent a lot of the damages that came to other cities. So we weren't entirely sure of what was coming, but we were ready. And once we knew the intensity of the storm, I felt a little more confident about going outside and taking some of the exciting footage that I shared on social media and some of which I have saved for this video. And I'd like to show you some of those clips now. Hello everyone, this is Adrian D. Holmes. I am standing right out here in the Atlantic Beach in the middle of Hurricane Irma. We are experiencing about category north winds probably close to 50 to 60 miles per hour. Uh, we're at this point in the video, the audio went out because we were outside right there in Indy Atlantic Beach standing in the middle of a hurricane with winds around 60 miles per hour and salt spray was just stinging our faces. It was I, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I am outside in the middle of Hurricane Irma. Right behind me. Emergency lights in the city and some of the street lights are on. Uh, here at this neighborhood, I'm trying to keep the wind shear down. My phone is covered in plastic because I'm trying to bring it on the ground. Covered. About four hours after we went to the beach, Irma moved inland. So I went inland and went outside to explore what conditions were like there. As you can see in this footage, conditions were pretty rough. We had to wrap cellophane around my camera so that it wouldn't get damaged by the water. The winds were very intense. At least I wasn't being stung by the salt spray like I was at the beach but I did have to hold on to some of the guardrails near the canals in Palm Bay. It was quite an intense experience. Flooding was already apparent and it was really an unusual thing to see in that part of the city. And it was really quite a startling experience to say the least. The amazing thing about Irma is that she was in and out of my area in about 24 hours. After she moved on, then came the recovery process and the aftermath. So I have a lot of pictures and videos that I took after the storm 
to give you an idea of what we faced in my area once Irma passed. So after looking at these pictures and videos, it's quite apparent that Irma will have a lasting effect on Florida history for many years to come, as millions of people have been affected by this storm. Many people have lost everything they've owned. But fortunately, the storm wasn't as bad as it could have been. I know every day I thank God in heaven above that we were spared a storm that was a lot stronger and a lot more destructive than what we did face because I know it could have been a lot worse and for a time it was supposed to be but thankfully it wasn't <laughs>